Morning everybody, Nigel Hawks, Hawkeye Traders. It's the 5th of April and I want to show you some interesting uh, uh, events that are happening in the markets. But before I show you the FX, I'd just like to go over and show you the uh, crude chart. We now have a monthly breakout on the crude. So if you're trading crude, you've got a monthly breakout. It looks as though the, this whole uh, flat period since uh, the middle of 08 all the way through to uh, now is just finishing we've got a monthly breakout on crude so do take note of that also if we go and have a look at the uh, ES you can see that we had a roadkill breakout from the downtrend here that pushed it back out and even in this markdown there was very little red volume going through and we've had green volume all the way from that isolated low the Hawkeye pivot that you see there has pushed this price back out these Hawkeye pivots are very powerful and you should uh, pay attention to them and the other thing before I move back into the Forex I just want to show you the Japanese ETF share you can see I've never seen this before and I, I have to tell you I'm very proud of the Hawkeye algorithm because even though there was wild gap down price move the algorithm showed that there was no concerted selling going on in that down move it was market price price action there was no concerted effort can you see that the volume all stayed white here then it went green and now we're in pure congestion here and you can see that we're getting ultra light volume markets don't go down on ultra light volume but we expect a little bit of choppiness now let me get back to the forex and show you for those people who are new to Hawkeye, the Hawkeye Fat Man Indicator takes all the crosses, divides them into each other, runs the Hawkeye trend through it, and shows you which currencies are at extremes and which currencies are weakness. Now you can see here that the magenta line, which is the Japanese yen, is right up the top, highly o overbought, and you can see down the bottom the red line here is highly oversold. That's the Australian dollar. So if we go and have a look at the Japanese yen, Australian dollar, we'll put that up, and that will give you all the cro the uh, 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 action. And you can see that it was just a beautiful setup, and bang off it went and what I like to do is to say okay once I've hit this extreme instead of waiting for them I want to see all the crosses so I've set up a workspace uh, which is the uh, Japanese yen 360 minute against everything else and then I just wait for the setups and I try and teach you time and time and time again to get into the hunters mode stay there wait in, uh, wait until everything is set up and then you can go ahead and shoot it and it's exactly the same in trading you've got to wait for the absolute setups look here the Jap the uh, British pound yen the British pound is this brown orange line here there it is starting there I've got no hesitation in to take that trade the volume is is there the heat map is there the trend is there and remember this is the volume off the road kill which is at 700 double the 360 so it's at 720 minutes 720 minute volume is showing me that um, there's a, a, a buying going on and if I go and put the volume on on the actual 360 you can see there it is there there's all the volume coming through to uh, take this uh, uh, trade so you must look at these extremes right now for example we've got the Japanese yen starting to turn round and go up so what I would do I would go in and this is what I'm going to do now show you all the Japanese yen crosses so we're waiting for those the Australian which is the red line here is coming down let me open up those and we are expecting signals to come in well the first signal that's come in is a wide bar that's come in on the 360 minute on the pound Aussie we've got to uh, wait for the uh, wide bar rule which is on the website uh, to click in the trend hasn't gone uh, green yet but all the setup is there you've got the Australian for example here coming down and you've got the New Zealand dollar which is this dotted line and I've got a short on it I would not take that because both of them are at extremes and both of them are coming down remember what I say there are three things in trading that you need one is an edge that's Hawkeye two is 
control of risk and three is control of your emotions so look for the perfect setups and they come time and time and time again so that's the end of my Wednesday uh, talk to you please go into the uh, uh, trading room on Friday we will be trading it live I won't be there this Friday I'm speaking on the trade station room on Friday in London so if you're English and you're going to the uh, Traders Expo in London please come along and introduce yourself to me I'd be uh, more than delighted to talk to you and see you next week thank you <music>